Nintendo, why do you always continue to disappoint me? <laughs> Nintendo recently announced that they've sold 9.2 million Wii U consoles. 9.2 million Wii U consoles. The Wii U has been out for two years now. Two! Two complete years! Because the Wii U released in 2012. Okay? So we're talking about two years and about, let's say, two months roughly, I believe. I mean, there are some really good titles on the Wii U. There's Smash Bros, there's Mario Kart 8, and then there's a bunch of different titles coming in the future, like Zelda Wii U and Star Fox Wii U this year, actually. Nintendo, how can you allow the Wii U to only sell 9.2 million consoles in two years? Like, seriously, this is actually selling worse than the GameCube. The GameCube, of all things. I don't even think it hit 22 million consoles sold in its lifetime. Ugh, how can you sell? Ugh, this is going to be the slowest selling console that you've ever made. The Wii U might be dead in 2016. They might be announcing a new console in 2016. So what does that mean? It might not even sell 20 million units. With, where the heck are all these sales going to come? It might not even hit 15 million units. And that is really not good. Oh my god. Really, Nintendo? Really? The funny thing is, though, the PlayStation 4 has already sold over 15 million units. And the Xbox One already sold 10 million units. You had a one-year head start. You, you really didn't even take advantage of it. And the fact of the matter is, where the heck are the games? Where the, where the heck is your marketing? Especially the marketing. There are a lot of people that don't know that the Wii U even exists. Like, me personally, if I go to school and say, hey, I have a Wii U, some people will ask me, what the heck is that? They don't know. They only know that there's a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One. And that is terrible marketing. I watch TV. Where the heck are the Wii U commercials? I mean, yes, there were Mario Kart 8 commercials, but those were only on regular channels where they show cartoons and things of that nature. And then, when Smash Bros came up, yes, there were a bunch of different Smash Bros commercials, but they were only for 3DS. Really, Nintendo? Really? You're gonna advertise a game for the 3DS, which already has a solid base, versus selling the superior version on the Wii U, not marketing that? Come on, really? Seriously? That's really sad that you didn't think that the Wii U would be able to sell enough copies of Smash Bros that you had to advertise it for the 3DS. The next console for Nintendo needs to be extremely powerful, and I mean extremely. Yes, the Wii U supports HD, but the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 have already done that. And we're all aware that the Wii U is not as powerful as, those, as the consoles PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Looking at the time frame now, the PlayStation 4 should be around for a little while, so you guys are more than likely going to be bringing out another console before these guys. So take advantage of that. Take advantage of the time you have. And the people who don't know that the Wii U even exists, get out there, support, market this new console that you're going to be making. I mean, right now, the Wii U, you can go ahead and support that because there are some great games like Smash and Mario Kart. But at the end of the day, the people who wanted the console have already gotten it. I, I, don't, I hate to say it, but it might be time for you guys to move on after this year. Yes, I've said that. This new console, you need to market this thing. Market the crap out of this new console because if people don't know about it it's not going to be any better than the wii u nintendo you can't have a you can't have a next gen console that is just getting on the levels of playstation 4 and xbox one in fact it needs to be able to reach at least 2k graphics i'm so serious because the fact of the matter is 4k tvs curved tvs all these new tvs are coming out and people are going to want some sloppy 1080p hd gameplay which the wii u does support but at the same time you can't keep doing this, Nintendo. You need to have a strong console that will be able, that will be the strongest console out there. Market the heck out of this thing, and be sure to get people, including the casual market and those Nintendo fans, because regardless, Nintendo fans are gonna buy your console, whatever it is, just because of the games. But anyway, make sure that the casual market is aware of this new console. I'm sorry to say this, but I don't think you're gonna pass 20 million units with this console because the only new game that's going to be coming out that people are actually interested are is Zelda. Yes, Kirby is coming out. Yes, Star Fox is coming out. But those franchises are franchises that people don't really worry about too much unless they're diehard Nintendo fans. I'm not going to go out in the streets and say, hey, I'm about to go get this new Kirby game. Who? No, it doesn't work like that. Star Fox, nobody knows who that is. Just the people who play Smash Bros know who that is. It's just not a lot of people. So, okay, you need to market that guy. All right, that's all I'm going to say. If you like this episode, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check out all our commentaries and other gameplay videos including Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is Adam from the Techno Bros. signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys. Peace. In the Middle East. Bars. Not where. Cavs. Going all the way. Finals. LeBron James. Calling it Kyrie Irving. Kevin Love. All those NBA fans out there, if you want to debate about this, we can get it popping. But you already know. LeBron James.